Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a payment link on QuickBooks Online. So this is exactly step by step how to create those payment links so you can easily send those directly to your customers and get paid for your products and services in your business. Whether you want to create a single payment link or a multi-use payment link, that's what we're going to be going through here in today's tutorial, exactly how to do that on QuickBooks Online. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you do not already have a QuickBooks account, you go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash QuickBooks. We'll take you right over to QuickBooks where you can get started with QuickBooks today. And without further ado, go ahead and smash that like button and let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So first things first, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your QuickBooks account. Next, what you're going to want to do is navigate to the sales overview. So the sales overview page. Now, depending on how your QuickBooks account is set up, uh, you should see this on the left-hand side somewhere. Now, you may already have added some bookmarks maybe for uh, customers or bank transactions or other accounting needs that you have uh, but in order to go about accepting payments in your business and sending out those payment links you want to get to that sales tab so on the left hand side under menu you're going to come down until you see sales and then you're going to click overview now we'll get to payment links in just a moment but i wanted to also give you a brief overview of how the sales transactions work in quickbooks is that you will need to set your yourself up with a QuickBooks payments account first in order for this to work. Now, QuickBooks should walk you through the process of getting set up with a QuickBooks payments account, but you do need a QuickBooks payment setup uh, before you can actually start accepting payments in your business. In case you're brand new to QuickBooks, you do need to get set up with a QuickBooks payments account, which does require a little bit of an approval process as well. Um, and QuickBooks will walk you through that, but just make sure that you have done that already uh, before going to try and create a payment link because you do need to actually have the ability to accept payments in your business first uh, with QuickBooks. Again, that's QuickBooks Payments. Uh, and it will be here in the sales overview. Once you have you know, finished your payment setup, as you can see here on the right-hand side, we're 50% done. Um, realistically, that's sort of just an arbitrary metric. Uh, but once you've finished your payment setup, next you should see these other quick actions um, on here on screen. So I do also want to differentiate here that payment links are different from traditional invoices, estimates, uh, recurring invoices, marking receive payment, uh, taking payment or creating statements or sales receipts, like all these things are separate actions that you can do in QuickBooks. Payment links specifically allow you, as you can see here, to let customers pay invoices online directly with QuickBooks payments. It essentially is a shortened version of what a traditional invoice would be. Um, so it's effectively just that payment link. You share the link and it's an easy way for you, you know, your customer to pay and then you get paid quick and easily with those payment links. So I'm going to be showing you in just a second what that looks like. But I did want to mention if you need regular invoicing, you're going to go about doing the whole regular invoicing process. Same thing with estimates, recurring invoices. Those are all separate functions within QuickBooks. Payment links specifically are just easy, quick links that you can send your customers in order to get paid. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out payment links. So when you go over sales tab, um, you can go down here to payment links and click on payment links. Alternatively, if you're on the sales overview, you can also click payment links here. So we're going to go to sales payment links, and this will bring us to the payment link page. As you can see here, this is, I've not created any payment links yet in this business. Um, so as you can see here, we have one-time link and multi-use link. So there's two different types of payment links that you can go about creating. So in order to do that, all we have to do is come over here to the right-hand side and click new payment link. And that will bring up this menu here. So we have the option between a one-time payment link and a multi-use payment link. The, essentially, the difference between the two is that a one-time payment link, as you can see here, works once with one customer and will expire after being used. So this is essentially uh, used to get paid for a single product or service from one customer. You know, best for a customer you're only selling to once or one time that you're selling a specific product or service to that customer. Um, that would be best for that single payment link. If you're going to want to get paid multiple times, uh, you might want to go with a multi-use payment link, which hence the name, as you can see here, you can create this link for one product or service with a specific price and then share it to get paid. It can be used as often as you like 
multi-use payment links are good when you want to get paid the same amount from many customers. So as they recommend here, um, that might be good for groups of customers who pay for the same exact thing. Um, maybe if you have a popular product or service, that's essentially the exact same product or service, you're selling it to multiple different customers or a customer who pays you regularly for that same amount, they could just go back and use that same exact payment link. Um, and this is different from what a recurring invoice or recurring payment would be. This is a payment link that they go in and pay it uh, whenever they want to essentially, or whenever you're billing them, so to speak, and they can continue to use that same exact payment link. Or if you're sending it just to multiple different customers, the exact same um, product or service that they're going to be paying you for. So in, in, Ultimately, that's the sort of the difference there. So in terms of what they look like, if we go through with the one-time payment link, we go ahead and click that, click next. Uh, this is what it will look like. So now you can also customize the payment links to have a custom URL. So you can uh, opt to do that as well if you want to make it a little bit simpler because the QuickBooks links are a little long and a little complicated, so to speak. Um, but what you essentially want to do here is scroll down. And as you can see here, your customer can pay you with this link. Just tell them, uh, the pay payment amount, what it's for, and who you want to send it to. And as well, this will not impact any other open invoices you currently have in your business. Uh, so we're going to go here and we're going to type in $100 uh, for that amount. So $100, and then you're going to add, you know, uh, what this product or service is for. So your customers will see this in the email uh, that you send with your link. Uh, so you can go ahead and type this in here. So let's just say uh, lawn service. Uh, that's typically the service I like to mark for these. So lawn service, $100 or um, whatever <laughs> you want to put in your business, of course, that's up to you. Uh, and then we have the customer name. Now you can either enter or select from your existing customers. So we're going to go ahead and type in uh, Jane Doe and add a new one there. So we're going to go ahead and click save. Um, and you can add in the details later. You would obviously want to add in an email because that is the email uh, that it will then send this invoice to. Uh, and then next, you also have the ability, of course, to select how to get paid. Um, so you can select card or ACH, or you can ultimately uh, turn them uh, on or off. Obviously, you need at least one payment method to actually get paid with these payment links. Um, I would personally recommend just having ACH turned on if you want to avoid payment processing fees because ACH fees are only 1% and you know there's a maximum of $0 per transaction, obviously. Um, but essentially 1% of that overall. So if you sold something for $100, you pay a dollar in processing fees. Whereas with credit cards, you're gonna be paying that 2.99% per transaction. Now, this may vary depending on the country, state, nature of your business, over time, like, and if you have a lot of volume, maybe they'd be able to give you a better rate. But typically, these are the rates that most businesses will see when they're going about processing payments. These are the rates that I see uh, and pay personally. Um, and these are pretty much the standard rates that QuickBooks offers for their QuickBooks payments product. You may, or, you know, your mileage may vary. It might look a little bit different for you depending on what country you're in or maybe your overall payments account. Maybe you're labeled as high risk. Maybe you have to pay more or maybe you have a high volume and you might have to pay a little less. It just depends. But this is probably the average most people would see is that 2.99. So you can select to offer either credit card and that would be through Apple Pay, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or Amex, as you can see here, uh, or ACH, which would be the traditional bank transfer uh, with account and routing numbers that will be on that payment page for the uh, payment link. We're going to be taking a look at that in just a second. Um, but as you can see here, you can select one or the other or both. Um, so if you want to offer both or if you want to just be like, ah, no, I don't want anyone to actually pay with card because then there's more payment processing fee and I'd rather just pay that 1%. Just depends on your customer. Maybe let them know, hey, you know, please pay with ACH or something like that. And you could just offer like, oh, I'm only accepting ACH payment. So you can also kind of do that there too on the payment link, which I do like, I really like that about QuickBooks. It's nice that you can customize that there. Uh, you will obviously need to add a customer email to send the email to. Uh, so we're just gonna do, I guess that Jane uh, Doe at gmail.com. And be, hopefully that's not anybody legit. <laughs> legit. Uh, but essentially once you type in the customer name, email, uh, you just need the dollar amount, product or service, 
and then we just click send payment link and it's pretty much as easy as that now this payment link will then be emailed to the email that you attach to your customer uh, and they will get in an email telling them hey um, you know this is the payment link now it's also important to mention that in addition to sharing via email which would be done automatically because it will automatically email that payment link to the customer uh, you can copy this link here so all you have to do is click copy uh, and then you could send this link you know via text message uh, or you can also display the link as a QR code so customers could pay in person uh, with their smartphone. So all that they would have to do is scan this QR code and it will pop up with that payment link. So this could be really good if you're you maybe at a pop-up booth or something and you're creating you know, payments on the fly depending on different dollar amounts or maybe if you're in a situation where you're maybe selling like a lot of different types of products uh, with different you know values and things like that you could easily quickly create a payment link so that customers can pay you for that specific dollar amount if we take a look at what it actually looks like let's go over to another tab go ahead and click Control v and go ahead and view what that payment link looks like and as you can see here this is what the uh, payment link would look like so as you can see here um, we have the payment amount for hundred dollars and we have only selected pay with bank transfer again you can also have it uh, pay with a credit card. I just opted to just show bank transfer in this case. Um, and the customer can select between, you know, what type of account, routing account number. Uh, and it all looks pretty nice and legit with the QuickBooks payment page. You also have uh, your business name will appear here. In this case, for me, it's Valesky Media LLC. Uh, you have the request date, you have the description of goods and services, and that's a lawn service for a total of $100. And it looks pretty nice, pretty sleek, pretty good, nice payment link. It's very easy for your customers to view and access. Uh, and all you have to do is click done. And then that payment link will be here. You will also see the status as to if it's been viewed by your customers. So as you can see, obviously we just viewed the link. Uh, so it is viewed. Uh, and you can also send out automatic and automated reminders here. If you wanna send a reminder, uh, it will send a reminder email, which is pretty nice in case you know your customer texts you or something like that and boom, they should get in their email. Occasionally, this does go to spam, so do keep that in mind. Tell them, hey, maybe check your spam folder, or you can just send them that link directly, um, which can also help as well. Um, just bear that in mind. Sometimes that does happen, uh, but you can see the viewed status, and if you click on it here, uh, it will then pop it up here, uh, and then if you wanted to edit it too, you can also then add, you know, add card, send the payment link. We're going to go ahead and click copy, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and review the link and then as you can see here you then have the option to pay with cards so you have like debit credit and that's sort of what that process looks like as well uh, in case you're going to be paying or having your customer pay with uh, a credit card or a debit card so you can also uh, offer them uh, debit and credit card options as well on these payment links now if you wanted to create one uh, that is obviously this is a you know spoofed email so delivery issue of course um, make sure it's a legit email that you're going to be sending it to if you want them to actually get the, the payment link uh, we're going to go ahead and click new payment link we're going to click multi-use payment link and then click next now this is best this is the multi-use payment link style we're going to go ahead and just quickly whip through this here uh, you know hundred dollars uh, your customers will see this so we're going to say uh, uh, lawn uh, service box or something I don't know uh, and then we're going to the next thing one thing that's also important to mention here with multi-use payments is you can also uh, select that you're selling a product and delivering it after you get paid so this would make sense if you're uh, sort of selling like a physical product that you're going to be sending that link to one person or, or not just one person but multiple different customers and maybe you're selling a lot of a single product um, and you're going to be shipping it to them you can also select that here this option does not appear on just the single use links this option only appears on the multi-use links you're able to say hey i'm selling a product and delivering it after i get paid you can select the uh, estimated date of delivery when the product would be delivered to the customer 
Uh, so one to three, three to five, five to 10, you know, 10 to 20 business days, you can select that option there. Um, and then this will work multiple times because you can send this same link to multiple uh, different customers and it will continue to work. So uh, we'll just leave it as ACH, but maybe this is like a box or a product box. You go ahead and create, uh, click create link. You can also share this on social media. You have the link QR code. And in this option, you also have a buy now button. So if you wanted to embed that somewhere um, or maybe send a link with that, you can also do that too. Um, I get that's pretty niche, but you can copy the text or, or create a buy button on your website too. Um, if you have like a singular product that you're going to be selling uh, and selling multiple of it, and then maybe shipping it out and sending it to your customers. Um, I get that's maybe not the most popular use for payment links, but it is an option that QuickBooks does also offer. And if we go ahead and view what that link looks like, we come over here. Uh, we go ahead and paste in the multi-use link. And then as you can see here, it will also ask for, you know, specific contact details um, because it will then send out, you know, as you can see here, description of product or service sold, lawn service box, estimated date of service or delivery. So five to 10 business days after payment. Um, so that's something a little bit different with the multi-use links that does have that additional functionality if that's what you may need in your business. Uh, so guys, that's pretty much payment links here uh, on QuickBooks Online. Pretty easy setup if you wanted to you know, send out these easy payment links, get paid directly without having to create all the traditional you know, functions of what you would need from like a regular invoice. If you need that, you know, go to invoices, go to estimates. These are the payment links. A very easy way to just create a payment link. Boom, have a customer be able to pay you without having to go through the more arduous process of creating a full on invoice and everything. In this case, you just type in the dollar amount, you send the email very, very quick and easy. Again, in the sales section, in the sales section of your QuickBooks online account. Uh, with these payment links, pretty easy way to go ahead and get paid in your business. So again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, on QuickBooks payment links. If you did, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And anyway, guys, again, if you don't already have a QuickBooks account, you can go check out that first link down below in the video description. But if you guys enjoyed it, then you know, be sure to smash that like button. And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.